Hey, what's up guys? Adam here, and today Apple released a very exciting press release letting developers and everyone else worldwide know that WWDC is being held June 6th through the 10th later this year in San Francisco, California. Now, for you guys that don't know what WWDC is, it's a huge event every summer that Apple has been holding since 1995, where they mainly show off their latest software for developers. Plus, they also show off some various other products of theirs. Now, the press release for this year states that Apple will unveil the future of iOS and macOS 10. And Apple also mentioned that if you're an Apple software developer, this is the event that you do not want to miss. So pretty big hype behind this year's WWDC from Apple. What this means for us is that we're probably going to be seeing the fully polished version of macOS 10.7 Lion demoed at this event, probably with a date we're going to be able to purchase the software. And also we're going to get a demo of the new version of iOS, iOS 5.0. What I'm expecting with iOS 5.0 is that Apple will be releasing a beta for developers that day, and a few months afterwards they'll probably release iOS 5.0 to the public. Unfortunately, what Apple makes no note of in this press release, however, is hardware. Apple has announced the new iPhone at the last few WWDC events, but people are actually speculating that the new version of the iPhone, the iPhone 5, may be delayed until early 2012. This would definitely make sense with the January launch of the Verizon iPhone, uh, making it so these early adopters of the Verizon iPhone aren't disappointed with the new product launch so soon. Now, of course, this is out in the open. Apple could or cannot be releasing a new iPhone 5 at WWDC. I'm personally going to be very disappointed if they don't, but it would make some sense to have the launch date push back a few extra months. 